I've literally just got in the door from San Diego, TwitchCon 2024. And uh, now, tomorrow, I'm flying to New York City. To do a cool, cool thing with EA Sports. Which means I need to record something while I'm away for two days. And that's why we're doing Mail Time with Brian. Yes, I've got a bunch of stuff here. And we're going to have longer versions of the PO Box stuff. So a lot of the letters, uh, other things that mightn't be, you know... And yes, when we do mail time with Brian, I I have to wear this in homage to respawn inbox with Mr. Sergeant APL. Man, That's why I'm dressed like this. My right, first thing, what have we got today? What is this one? All right here we go. Let's start it off. Is this Amazon? I heard you like Manchester United. Here's a gift that you can use while you watch the games. Finn Jake. Thank you, Finn Jake. Something from Manchester United always will cheer me up. Do you know? Well, not always. The results have not been cheering me up. But any gift from you guys that's Manchester United related, that's great. I appreciate that. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Now, what is this? What is that? Oh, a mini bar set. Manchester United pint glass to drink away my pain as I watch Man United concede another goal to a team in the championship. Brilliant. And oh, that's actually very nice. Thank you, Finn Jake. Pint glass. Uh, some kind of towel to wipe the tears away from being a Manchester United fan. What a great start. That's gone straight into my pub. Oh. And coasters. Lovely. This arrived today. And I think it's a U2s. I'm g Here's my guess. It's my U2s. And the person wants me to sign it. And then pay for another $100 ship. I'm not... I had to pay $100 to ship a U2s back to someone, okay? Just so you know, if you ever want me to open something, sign it, and send it back, I'm more than happy to sign something for you guys. But as long as you have a prepaid return package that comes with it, basically, you pay for the shipping back to you because I can't be doing that for everyone. That's expensive. And views are been pretty shit. <laughs> I'm becoming real broke boy. Ah, guess what it is, guys. It's the Paddy News U2s. And I'm guessing there's going to be a request here to sign it and return it. And there is no prepaid shipping. Mother... F <laughs> Can you... Okay. When you receive the box, send me a quiet email to blah, 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 blah. Can you accept PayPal or MoneyGram email and let me know because you can't do prepaid in Canada. We don't have UPS. Hey Brian, it's me, Riley. I've been watching your content for years. I've been watching you and the guys throughout the years. I also want you to sign the U2s in the box, sign the display window, but take off the protector. P.S. Love your videos. Love, Riley. Okay. At least Riley was smart enough to give me details to make contact, which we will. And then we will get Riley's money <laughs> and then ship it back damn straight it is not as cheap as you may think especially to canada but i will do that don't show your address thank you riley man i am tired twitchcon was fun well was it the event itself was a little meh a little meh but me uh, i said to Lene, i said something that probably sounds stupid but i'm just maybe i'm just trying too hard to be humble but i genuinely didn't think i was going to get recognized that much genuinely genuinely might sound stupid because, you know, clearly. But I genuinely didn't, didn't think. And I got spotted by, like, someone. I was walking the floor with Lene. Got spotted. They asked for a photo. I was like, yeah, sure, of course, no problem. Did, did, a, did a few, like, pictures and signed some stuff. And then turned around and there was, a, there was a queue on the first day. And then it happened every single day. And it was very, very sweet and very humbling. And thank you. I've come back from TwitchCon with a new lease of, I guess, energy, self-belief. This sounds like a load of shit. But you actually don't know what goes in, maybe not just my mind, but other content creators' minds, where there's kind of imposter syndrome. As you get a little bit older, you start to think, ah, you're shite. <laughs> you're, you're a has-been. You're whatever. You're over it. And then you go and you meet a lot of people that, like, thank you for everything that you've done and, the and you know, how much the videos means to them. And you come back with a new, per like, I guess, perspective um, and an injection of enthusiasm. To get shit done and stream more which i plan to do anyone that came up to me i really do appreciate it. it means more to me than 
I know. I know I'm incredibly cool. Can I'm collected and I don't showcase as much, but you guys are kind of awesome. All right, what's this? What is this? What is this? What the f What the f is that? Beats by Dre. Oh! I bought these for Lene. Oh, these are cool. I bought these for Lene. Okay, so it came with, um, well, Baby Yoda. God, I uh, uh, can't remember his feckin' name. But anyway, these go on top of your monitor. They're really cool. You get a little adhesive, and you just put them on top of your computer monitors. They're actually really, really, really cool. Grogu. Grogu? Grogu. That one's cool. With the Mandalorian helmet. That's very cool. That's nice. Thank you for that. Those are cool. We love those. Those are different. I, I, I got Lene some, but not those ones. The helmet. These are different. Now, what am I opening first? Please don't be something bad. Oh, it's got your hair. Ooh, the tape has hair in it. I really hope this isn't a... <laughs> you wish! <laughs> it's a 3D model. I can tell from the lines on it. This is 3D. You guys in your 3D printers. Oh, I hope I didn't scratch that. No, I'm good. Oh, sick! Oh, cool! Does it... No way this works. No fucking way does this work. Is this an actual working... No way this is USB. This is a 3D printed USB Batman symbol. Signal. Oh my lord. That... Mm, that is pretty... That's incredible. That's the coolest 3D printed thing I have seen. Who sent me this? I didn't even read your letter. Okay, it has some doodles on it. Hello, Brian. Eric here from the good old Texas. Uh, just, it looked like Rexus. Your pen must have ran out. Uh, just wanted to tell you, thank you for everything you've done over the years. Been watching you for many years and watched you in many other people's videos besides the Vanos crew, Syndicate, Scene Anners, uh, uh, etc. I've watched over the years many channels, but you and the crew have stuck around for me and thank you. Thank you. Does that say Fanny? Fanny enough? Funny enough? For me, and I think you're funny enough. I think that's what it says. Thank you. I'm glad I'm funny enough. Uh, in this box included something for Nogla as well. If you can give it to him, please. I remember you mentioned about trying to find an ASMR mic. I had this lying around, so I decided to try and give it to him. The other stuff is for you. Hope you enjoy it. Again, thank you for sticking around on YouTube for so long. You and the crew are the only ones I keep watching till the earth explodes. And hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Eric. I appreciate it. Is this the microphone for him? Okay, I promise uh, I'll try. I'll try. There better not be some weird shit in here. Oh, it's crusty. Oh, it's crusty. Oh, he wanted the Astros. You had Astros. Astro headsets. No glitz look for Astro A40. Oh, you, you got a lovely smell in here. Uh, Astro, I think you put some perfume in here to make the box smell good. If you have any Astro A40s, uh, hit up Nogla. He's willing to pay. That man wants Astro A40s wireless or wired. I don't know which. Or A50s. Hit him up on Twitter. Oh, this one is for me. This one's for me. This is something I bought. But I thought I'd open it in this video. Ooh, I think this one's graded. Yes, it's a Pokemon thing. And I'm pretty sure this was from a dad and son eBay store. And the dad sent me like a lovely email saying this means a lot to my son. He's, you know, passionate about Pokemon cards and selling them. And I thought I'd buy some more stuff from him. But I think this is the first thing I bought. It was very sweet. His dad sent me a nice little personalized thing. Pretty sure this is from them. First, a nice little Pikachu card. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh no, I bought this one. Yeah, I bought this straight up. I needed this for my 151 collection. Look at that. Not bad. Is it, what's the condition like? Uh, yeah, it looks okay. It looks okay. But I needed this guy and complete my 151. I appreciate people who have been putting the name Brian Michael Hamby on my P.O. Box stuff. Thank you. The names have been great. Top of the morning to you. I hope you find this funny, but since y'all have a Jeep, so y'all got ducked. Have good, have a good day. Love the videos. P.S. There should be two more packages if they're not separated from River, River King, from River, aka River King, and then send me these lovely ducks for our Jeep. We'll give these out to other people. <laughs> look at that. Ain't that great? That's gonna look great on the Jeep.
those of you that don't know, when you get a Jeep, you can go over. If you see another person with a Jeep, you have ducks. And you go over and put a duck on the, the you know, the bonnet or the hood of their car, as you say over here. And then uh, they collect ducks. And you just put the ducks on display in the front of your Jeep. Yeah, there's a picture of a duck there. So basically, I got two of these ducks flipping the bird. I don't think Lene's going to want to give these away. She's going to keep these. Oh, man, today's been a long day of traveling. I hope I'm not boring. I hope my energy levels... I, I'm on my second coffee. The thoughts of flying to New York tomorrow is... Oh, oh, I don't... I'm sick of airports. Get too old. Dear Brian, it's been a while since I gave you a gift. The Star Wars t-shirt is for Lene. The other gifts are for you. Regards, Paul Arthur. Thank you, Paul. Uh, so, Paul Williams. Thank you, Paul. Got socks. What did he say? Oh, these are great. This is for me on the weekend when I'm watching me football. Don't disturb me. I'm watching football. Is that what it says? Wait, does the other one say do not? <laughs> that was a guess. That was a guess. Do not disturb. I'm watching football. That is perfect for me. Thank you very much, Paul. Lene will fully understand to not bother talk to me when I'm playing my football. When I'm watching me football. And then what's this? Which is for Lene. It's all for me. This is my, my video. There you go. You get the idea. Princess Leia. That's a good t-shirt. Very nice. Actually, it is a very nice t-shirt. And then socks, bro. I, I, you guys don't realize I love socks. I love socks. Nothing I enjoy more putting on a fresh new pair of socks. Does this say the same thing? Same thing, but in green. Thank you very much, Paul. Always a pleasure. You always send the best shit. Dear Brian, my name is Conan. I think it's either Conan or Conan. I think it's Conan. C-O-N-N-O-N. -N -N. I've never seen this name before. My name is Conan, and I had an idea to draw a modified picture of you for some time now, and just now got around to making it, and I also decided to draw your pups. I know you aren't the best- wait, I, sorry, I know they aren't the best drawings in the world, but I hope you like them. I've been watching you for an unspoken number of years, so we both don't feel old, and wanted to show thanks for all the content you've made. You're always- you always seem to great, funny, and entertaining videos. Not always. Always funny. I try a little too hard. I had some hard times in life, but your videos helped. My daughter also enjoys watching your videos with me. I also included the concept uh, art card for my commission drawings. Thank you, Conan Morgan. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Let, let's uh, show this first. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Benjin, Sansa, and Arya. Very good. I like that a lot. Brilliant drawing and then and then me <laughs> yeah. What have you got on this? No, that's me in my McLaren. That's me in my McLaren uh, uh, Hoodie and also a Man United hat good choice. Well done. I don't have that hat, but I do want it That's sick Man United, but the T is my logo. That's nice. I want that made. I Want that made that's very good. Well done Conan and if anyone wants some commissioned work See, this is what I'm talking about if you guys do stuff and you want to show off your skills and you have an Etsy or something like that. And there you go. That's my way of paying you back. My nails might be dirty. Lads, I'm a mess. If my nails are messy, I do apologize. It's been a long day of traveling. And I'm exhausted. But Conan, thank you so much. Appreciate you, bro. Okay, next one. What have we got? It better be Pokemon cards. Valuable Charizards. Uh, Paul Williams. Paul again. I swear Paul sent me his book. Feck you, you feckin' feck. The Irish Swear Coloring Book. That is the best. It's a bunch of ya gee bag. Gee bag basically means you're just a... Uh, uh, shut up, ya gee bag. Um, I don't know, like, what exactly it means, but it's like, basically, you'd say that. Would you shut up, ya gee bag? Stop being such a massive gee bag, would you? The face in you, ya gee bag. Um, what does it actually mean? Aegis basically means idiot. So... It's like the Irish quick way of saying idiot. Idiot. Do you get it? Kind of, it's it's basically, yeah. Uh, earth hole. I love how it's in a hole. That's a beautiful, beautiful hole. Look at that. I hope I don't get demonetized. Mind you, I don't think it recognizes some of these. You're, listen, this is Nogla. This is Nogla. Whenever we're doing a reacts video, he makes it political and becomes a dry shite. But mind you, I can be a bit of a dry shite. No glue we talk about something and I don't really have anything to add to it. I'm being a dry shite. It means you're being boring. Anti-crack. Uh, taken away from uh, the energy of the room. 
if you're complaining about stupid stuff, would you stop being fucking dry shite, you gee back? See, now you're all becoming, uh, you're all becoming fluent. And now, here's another word. He's a knob jockey, all right? Which might be, in this day and age, not great, but it means he's good. A jockey rides horses, and in this case, he rides a knob. Do the math. Lango! Well, bye. Lango. Uh, basically, you're from Cork, County Cork. There it is. There's the map there. There's Cork at the bottom. Anyone from Cork is known as a Lango. Well, bye. You fucking Lango. You're not about a Lango, so yeah. A ring piece. The f is a ring piece. I like that art, though. I have that kind of Latin art style in my pub. A ring piece. I don't even know what a ring piece is, but I'm guessing it's about your arse. And the best one. Feck off. It's great. It's like saying the word with a U, a certain F word, but feck. And uh, no one understands that it's basically the Irish way of saying a a, the, the, the F word. And it's great. Now, I'd, I've never used that bottom word, all right? But get to f That basically means would you get out of here. Get to f Like if someone's talking absolute shite and you say, would you get to f That's basically what that means. Means would you get out of here? Shut up, you're a load of crap. Would you shut up? Another one is come on to And we have to keep leaping some of these because I want to I want to make money off this video. I've got staff to pay, alright? And then uh, uh come here to means come we come here quickly. Come over here quickly, alright? Listen, hurry up here, come here. And uh, that doesn't translate well. My cousin once told me a story, he had an American friend, and he kept telling him he went upstairs and would you come here to f He thought he, it was an invitation. He, he was like, no, I don't, I don't swing that way. Poor fella thought he was about to get upstairs and have his ring piece taken care of. Did you get it? It's in the arsehole. Lot of sensors. A lot of sensors. But my Patreon does not have these sensors. Three dollars. The link is in the description. Come on. Completely. Anything Dorothy sent to me? Any, any, any things that we have to censor in these P.O. boxes? Any certain toys for a ring piece? Uh, will not be censored on the Patreon. So if you want to enjoy it, Uncensored and unfiltered go over there to the patreon. Thank you everyone that is on the patreon really appreciate it, it helps out uh, Supporting all the wages of staff, okay, and uh, my addiction to Pokemon packs. Thank you. No, I've actually stopped. I've stopped Pogmahon Pogmahon that's Irish for hello there my good man. So whenever you're in Ireland just sell, just say that yell it lick arse This is a good one. This is Nogla. Nogla is this to Vanos. A lick arse. It's a kiss ass. Kiss ass. Lick arse. A numpty. You're like an idiot. Uh, would you shut up, you numpty? This is great. I'm enjoying this. I'm educating you all on Irish swear swear words. Shut your hole, you f What? You f What the f does that say? Roaster. I don't know what that bottom one says. Shut your hole, you post Posting. Roasting. Post. I can't read that. Someone in the comment section tell me what that says. Because I actually don't know that word. Uh, yeah, hair bag. Yeah, hair bag. Uh, hair is the Irish way of saying whore. Hewa. Yeah, hair bag. Yeah. That's pretty much it. The Jesus. That's just saying Jesus. Like, ah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The Jesus. Munter. Oh, I can't say that. Uh, a munter recently got in trouble on the internet. I think uh, an English team named their team Munter Hunter United or something. A munter is basically an ugly, lovely lady. And it's not nice to call someone that because they have feelings. And it's not their fault. And people who do say that are a ball bag. There you go. That's that's swear words in Ireland. There is no note with this one. Just more. Oh it's, oh, it's probably connected with the ducks. There's more ducks for the Jeep. This is for Lene. For sure, this is for Lene. Gamer girl. <laughs> yes, this looks just like Lene. Lovely. Thank you very much. Keep the ducks coming. We're going to have a shit ton of ducks. I just know this is going to be a thing. Lene is going to be driving a jeep with ducks on the roof. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's another f***ing duck. Look at that. That's racist. 
Then he gets Gamer Girl and I get racially profiled. Look at that. That's a good duck, actually. To be fair, that's a good duck. I like that. I like that duck. Fair play to you. Thank you very much. You hoor bag, yeah. This whole video is going to be talking about Irish naughty words. And they're so Irish, I hope YouTube can pick up on them. That could be the way for me to be able to say things to I would you feck off. And they don't realize that's a bad word. Dear Mr. Terrorizer, sir. Hi, Brian. By the way, everyone is, so far that's written me a letter has all spelt it the incorrect way. I'm not going to say which way they spelt it. But use your imagination. Big fan, clearly. You mentioned about 20 minutes ago on stream at the time of writing this that you and your mom watched a lot of this when you were younger. I just happened to happen upon a lot of DVDs that would otherwise go to a thrift store. So I figured you'd like this. Make sure you cherish the time you have with your mom. Preaching to the choir here. I got you. Don't worry. I understand. You never know how much longer you have before it's gone. And I know that too well, unfortunately. Anyways, to lighten the mood, also enclosed is a drawing of you having a hot makeout sesh with the love of your life. Sincerely yours. Hugs and kisses. Cosmic Sand Shoes. Thank you, Cosmic. And... Wow. That's annoyingly fucking good. Look at that. L so hot. Lene taking pic- m Wow. Sweet Jesus Christ. That's annoyingly a good drawing. That was a great van- Wow. Okay. Well, that's getting burnt. Uh, thank you very much. Now, this DVD. DVD. I used to watch this with my mom. There's Home Improvement. Only Fools and Horses. Takeshi's Castle she used to watch with me as well. What did I say? I actually don't remember. What did I say? It has to be one of those three, right? Or else Tommy Cooper. Great magician. No, I was right. Home improvement. Yep. Me and my... Oh, it's going to slide out the bottom. Me and my mom watched so much. So much home improvement. I love this. This show is god tier. Thank you very much, Sanchez. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, Cosmic. Hey, right, that's a cool one. Great drawing. I have to admit, that's that's a great drawing. Can't deny that. Hi, Terrors. My name is Morgan. I've been watching you since the Impossible Quiz video you made years and years and years. What? Watching you since the Impossible Quiz video you made years and years and years and so forth. I hope you like this custom shirt. Shout out to Ill Greed, the artist of the Avengers and Mario Bros drawing. And shout out to Ghost underscore Neto. Thanks for being awesome, a legendary YouTuber. You really care about your friends. And I always think when cameras turned off, you say all jokes aside, guys. Be yourself. And you make anyone happy. You're on a platform to do good in the world. From the man on YouTube, Metal Stop, a.k.a. Morgan. P.S. Stop is pronounced like a stop. This letter, I don't... It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's cr confusing. But thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Morgan. And apparently this is a t-shirt. That whole letter has now been engraved onto the... What is going on? Wait a second. Did you buy something and you thought you were supposed to write a note to me? And they engraved the whole thing on this metal card. I have a metal card that reads the entire note on the invoice. Where's the t-shirt? You f***ing said there was a t-shirt. Personalized wallet card, custom wallet insert, laser engraved, or color printed wallet card. You spent fourteen dollars on a card that reads this message. Where's the? I I am okay. Well, that's a new way of writing me a letter. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you, Brian. Hope you have an amazing year. Congrats on the hundred k subs on the extra channel. Still a fan. We watch your videos all the time. Thanks for all the laughs. My last year in my 30s, yay me, I was going through my grandparents' things. They had some keepsakes of Ireland when they visited in 1992. I thought, as an Irish person, you would enjoy having a bit of home here in the States. Maybe write Nogla a postcard from Dublin. LOL, you are my favorite YouTuber. Thanks, Megan. P.S. Birthday just passed, but birthday wishes are always appreciated. Happy birthday, Megan. From Brian. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. It's very sweet. I will take good care of it. And um, prob Oh, Killarney! Look at these postcards. Killarney and Kerry. Beautiful place. Stunning, even. Uh, is that Clon McNoise? Or Glendalock. That's what I meant to say. Not Clon McNoise. Glendalock, yeah. So it's a, a monastery. Why did I say Clon McNoise? I think it's similar. But anyway, yeah. I meant Glendalock. 
okay? So it has a nice little like lake beside it. It's in the Wicklow Mountains and it's a, an old Christian monk site. That is Grafton Street. I can see the art. Yeah, oh, right. It literally says Grafton Street in the bottom. But yeah, no. Just proving I'm from Dublin. Okay, I recognize it. There's the arch there at the end there. That's into Stevens Green. And uh, yeah, I basically worked a lot in this area here on Harcourt Street. Those of you from Dublin, not far from Grafton Street. That's uh, in the background there. See, see those statues? Okay, just past that. That's where you see the wonderful uh, spire. The giant toothpick that we all hate. But that's when Dublin was... Look at that. The good old days. Dublin really... Oh man, it's kind of dropped down a bit. I'm not gonna lie. It's not as great as back then. What a city. Look at that city. Dublin city. What bridge is that? The Hapenny. That is the Hapenny Bridge. Yeah, that's the Hapenny Bridge. Look at that. They had a great time. They did Dublin. They did Clarny. They did a bit of Wicklow. There's Molly Malone there in the top left with her massive knockers. Huge. Molly was selling fish and seashells. <laughs> And no wonder she had so many customers. I wonder why so many men were buying stuff off her. Kylemore Abbey. I've heard of Kylemore Abbey. Never seen it. Never been to it. Connemara. Hey Google, where is Kylemore Abbey? The address for Kylemore Abbey. It's Galway. It's Galway. I didn't know that. Yeah, I've never been. And then different castles of Ireland. Look at that. So I'll put this up. I have like a little uh, wall that I want to put up. Things like this. These little postcards. These would be great addition. Little tacky stuff. That's what I love about Irish pubs. We just throw a bunch of crap on the wall. It just needs to look good. It just, it's a wall that you can just see all the random stuff. And it's very, very, uh, just nice to look at all the randomness. Oh my Lord, it is old school. This receipt, this price. Can I get that to fall back? Oh my God. Three Irish, well, four pounds, 3.99. Back when Ireland had pounds. Three pounds 99. Irish pounds. So Ireland has, uh, ever since two the year 2000 or 2002, I can't remember which year it was, but Ireland changed its currency to the euro. And I miss the old money, the Irish punt. So this is Blarney Castle. It's nice. These are little paintings. What else? I got four paintings. These are great for the wall. This is exactly the kind of shit that I want. Cliffs of Moher. These are like uh, water paintings. Look at that, the seagull. Is that a seagull? It has to be a seagull. Yeah, that's a seagull. Look at these little paintings. These are fantastic. This is awesome. Come on, show me this. From 1992. This is a little time capsule. Look at that. Definitely an English, basically, land, uh, well, lord. Lord of the British manor. Basically, when the, the English treated us like slaves. Those big giant houses that the English had. That's what that is, probably. And then this. Uh, this is from Slemish Mountain in County Antrim, up north. And there's just a farmer there with his hay and a horse there bringing it around. That's lovely. Thank you for these. That's great. That is absolutely fantastic. I love this one. That is exactly the kind of stuff I want in the Irish pub downstairs. So, Megan, thank you so much. I adore all of these have a fantastic birthday wish all the best you probably sent me this a while ago so your birthday could be long gone uh, it's been a while since I've, I've been keeping the p.o box stuff here for a bit but thank you so much i absolutely love this one this is one of the big ones this is one of the highlights of everything i've opened so far that is very sweet thank you so much is this a t-shirt i bought oh yeah I found this website that said, well, I've heard that before. <laughs> I found this t-shirt company that make like kind of old school graphic like t-shirts. And I was like, I want that. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? That's the bottom line. What? Look at that. Now that could be, I think I got this just to see the size that large. Yeah, I need a medium. That is a big one. That might not fit me, but then... One of the greatest of all time. Look at that. Brazilian Ronaldo. Legend. That's also going to be worn. I got myself that. Not you guys. But just saying. T-shirts like that. Is this another one I bought myself? Most of this video is just me buying shit for myself. <laughs> is this another Pokemon card? Yes, it is. Another one for the 151 collection. Giovanni's Charisma. Now, again, I have this card. But those ones I want to see. Uh, I have a few of this card. But I wanted one just to put in my binder. The other ones were ones I pulled and I want to get them graded. Because this card can do pretty well. 
online. So I might sell some. I don't normally do Pokemon for the money. Because I've wasted... I've spent... I'm not making money, that's for sure. But I would like to, you know, get some PSA 10s. Get me excited. Make me think I haven't wasted too much money. But we all know I have wasted a lot. I love the address or the name they put on this package. It says, Shipping to Terrorizer Unboxing Video. But guess what? It worked. Oh, fantastic. I know exactly what this is. Look, it's a blurred box. Again, it's a blurred box that you can only see on my Patreon. Awesome. Oh, great. I now realize what this is. It's, look on the other side. Again, it's pixelated. Cool, you can only see this on the Patreon. Does this come with bat? Wow, that, I can't show that image. Not even gonna show that image. Who is she? <laughs> is this, wait a second. <laughs> Mold, this is literally molded from Whoever she is. Who the fuck are you? So let's just say this is a, a, a tool, a, um, a, a functional tool that one can use on themselves. And it is also sh modeled or molded after, let's just say this lady, Remy LaCroix, has uh, volunteered to help with the crafting of this device uh, very close to her home. This will go into my personal collection. Thank you very much. All right, let's cool down with some of these letters. Is this you? Please let us know. Susie. Oh, I think this is a mistake. This is... No, this is a mistake. This was sent to me. This must have been for a previous person that owned my mailbox. Okay, it's literally a letter to sell a house. It's an open house. This is... I've just broken the law. I've opened someone else's mail. Um, that's it. I'm going to jail. Shit. Read first. Okay. Will do. Dear Brian Michael Hamby, I wanted to do something for you to express my gratitude for the laughter and the general ease for of boredom over the years. It is a joy to watch you and all the chaos you create. However, as I am a student of, at a university, I do not have the funds to buy or make much of anything. Because of this, I have used my talents to create a, po a poem about you and the boys. You are welcome to read this on stream or in a video and to share it with the mentioned members. I do not blame you if you don't though, as it's a long one. I hope I hope you enjoy reading this. Two things, each logo has been somewhat personalized, though I could only use the information I Google for those I don't watch often or even at all. My second point goes with this. As the hearts at the end show my favorite members of the crew, those I watch a lot, including you, say hello to the dogs and the girlfriend, just kidding, love you, Lene, for me. Respect and best... I'm getting spit built up in my mouth, I can't read. Respect and best wishes, Kylie... Oh, Kylie Olsen! At Cool Crowbird. P.S. The font is called Joker, which I thought was very fitting. Well, thank you, okay. Thank you, Kylie. Right, where is it? Here it is. I wish you all the best in college. Get it done. It'll be worth it. So I take it you love uh, myself there. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let's get out of the way. That's just because you're right to me. Anthony, yes. Big dub. Big dub. Brock, yes. Big dub. And Tyler, big dub. Okay, we'll take that. Everyone else? <laughs> get shot on. Right. The Vanos crew. Full of men who suck up to an owl, who though friends, act like sworn foes. Playing dumb games and making them dumber, making us laugh those vulgar bros. Now let me introduce these boys, let's call them out now. After, and after I've finished, let's let them take a bow. First, a man unafraid to ruffle feathers, the gamer no one is defaming, the leader of the pack and a good friend, the Asian Canadian owl, Vanos Gaming. <laughs> Second, the man with some brain cells missing, whose belief in God stands strong and true. A family man with his Irish words, Dahi Dinogla and his loose screw. <laughs> Third, another Irish who jokes around, making himself snort with his soundboard. A sweat but unafraid to cause some rage, the gaming terrorizer, our great lord. <laughs> and also my logo with, a, with, with the pig, with the pig snort, the snout. See, see? Thank you. Fourth, a man but an American pig, newly married, we love that. A troll of his own, 
with a love for slurs. The exemplar redneck, I am Wildcat. Fifth, the man who comes with a card with no patience for a stupid jerk. Who has other, who has others' backs no matter what. The head of minorities. Basically, I do work. Six, our other man of religion. An iconic laugh and rage at 11. A joker and reactor with his buds. The married, mo the married man 407. I fucked that up. Let me try that again. Six, our other favorite of religion. An iconic laugh and rage at 11. A joker and reactor with his buds. The married man 407. Seventh, a man under some influence with a beautiful laugh and beard who disappears but is still a favorite Big Jiggly Panda, a man revered. <laughs> Eighth, the man with many strange sounds whose face remains very mysterious with little girls to give his... Oh! With little girls, they're his, to give his teddies the hilarious... Okay, let me do that again without making it sound creepy. Eighth, the man with many strange sounds whose face remains very mysterious with little girls to give his teddies the hilarious hatred of delirious. Last but not least, a man retired, gave up his career for his kids, pulling others away from the cancellation line, Moo, the man we will miss. Through the years of games, both big and small, they've stayed together through it all. When it was, I see a line scribbled out here, banning rabbits and lads, scribbled that out, thought of a new line. Through it all, when it was needed, Gaining fans worldwide, though moments get heated. We love these men for all that they do, for the laughs and smiles, the tears and rage, the influence spreads over miles. We gather in gratitude here. For many, they are our glue. May they continue to bless our lives. I present our champions, the Vanos crew. Aww. You guys are gay. She was gay. Very sweet. <laughs> And look, see, if you don't have a heart in your name, you're not loved. Okay, we're the favorites. Us four, let's go. Thank you. That was very sweet. I wish you all the best, Kylie, in college. Get it taken care of, get it sorted, get it done. And uh, that was very sweet. Thank you. That was good. Put that in my, my pile of stuff that gets kept. All the, the fan mail stuff gets kept in a nice binder. That's definitely going in. Okay, another letter for the extra channel. Hello Terrorizer, I hope this letter finds you well. I have been a fan. This handwriting might take a little while to read. Okay. I have been a fan of, of everyone way before the lad incident. My favorites were actually you and Nogla. I drew you and Nogla and myself for some art. I am starting to do YouTube and I hope to... To... Uh, to one day... Do a video with at least one of my favorite, close enough, content creators. I am also putting one of my most worked on sheet of art in this fan mail. So I hope you like it. And I hope you, uh, I hope you can find the Terminator reference. It might just send you into an aww. Oh, uh, uh, I think it's aw. I also have a good name for your community, the Brynet. Like Skynet, Brynet. Mm. Mm. I'll think about it. Uh, I also have a good name for your community. Oh wait, I hope you have a great time zone. I hope you have a great time zone. What the? What? I hope you have a great time. Does that say time zone? It's, I hope you have a great time zone, Terrorizer. <laughs> I do. I like the West Coast. I am also going to put my contact email. So do what you will. I will also leave some love in the video. This will be in. I know you struggle with pronouncing the name. It is, it is pronounced Memphis, Mr... Is that supposed to be Memphis? Memphis, you are very welcome. Uh, God bless you, Terrorizer and Nogla. Cross my heart. Memphis, official. Thank you, bro. Um, sorry if I... It, I hope it doesn't seem like I'm making fun of your handwriting, but I have to make it clear. Sometimes it's hard for me to... It, the legib legibility of some of your handwriting is a little hard. So I don't want people to think I'm having a stroke while trying to read. It's just sometimes, especially... 
especially with pencil it can get very hard to make out what the words are but thank you very much and your art is lovely look at that look at that look at this uh also this says this is not the original. The original had Vanos in place of Delirious and had all the quotes from the Team 6 videos you made all that time ago. With love, Mr. Memphis. There you go. See, look. Bit of art. There's Nogla there with his brown beard. There's me with my jet black hair. <laughs> Delirious as a teddy bear and Mr. Memphis there. And then also, look at this. This is, um, is this your guy? This is, this is some furry, furry activity here. I'm... Thank you, Mr. Memphis. This one comes with absolutely no note. It's a t-shirt. This is a t-shirt. I don't know who this is from. I don't know what it's about. Oh, bring it on, plumbers. On the back, we gotta fight Thanos Luigi. And then on the back, it says, bring it on, plumbers. What the, f what randomness is this? Why are the Avengers and, Ma and the Mario Brothers on this? Why am I being sent this? Anyway, uh, thank you. Is this in my size? Large. I, this, I think, is too big for me. That is a big large. Thank you. <laughs> Very confused. This one is heavy. Whoa. What is this? Feels like a book. It, it is a book. So this one is from Grady. I've uh, been watching your videos for a while and they never seem to disappoint. Keep up the great work. Not sure if you played Tears of the Kingdom, but I thought you'd enjoy this gift since I know you love Zelda. Oh, I have played it. I need to finish... I need to finish, um... Uh... Tears of the Kingdom. So Breath of the Wild. Wait, what did this say? Tears of the Kingdom. I haven't finished Tears of the Kingdom. New game came out and I got distracted. I need to get back to streaming it. Look at the Master Sword. I'm guessing this is like... Is this like official collect? Oh, this looks nice. Oh, yes. Dive in. I might give this a read. Does this help you with the game? Game structure, inch. Ooh, oh, I like this. Do you know what this reminds me of? The good old school, like Nintendo magazines, and like tutorial. Like you used to read like books about how. Like it's all on the internet now, but like an official book just to read goes through everything on the game. This is so cool. It's like showing you everything. The nice art of Ganon. This is cool. I like this a lot. Yeah, it's giving you tips and tricks, which is very... Oh, wow. And all the different bosses and how to beat them. That is sick. This is very, very old, like, Nintendo GameCube era. My friends and I used to collect the Nintendo magazines around that time to, like, learn about new games coming out and current games that are out and little tips and tricks and things that you can do. Nintendo Power covers everything from Super Nintendo to Game Boy with top 20 lists, reviews, codes posters, maps, ratings, awards, and updates on NU64, Virtual Boy, the gateway system for airplanes, and the industry trade shows like the winter CES. Yeah, dude, I loved this. This is sick. Yeah, this is sick. Thank you. Thank Grady. That is actually a really, really cool gift. I love this. I will be reading this completely because I have to go back and finish Tears of the Kingdom, and this will get me ready. Because there's times where you haven't played a game in a while, and then you go back and you're completely... Oh, oh, I can't remember how to play this game. I'll be ready. Thank you, bro. That is really sick. This next one does not come with a note. It was just sent from, like, some t-shirt company. What to say? Sarcasm now loading. Please... Okay, yeah. This, this is a good t-shirt for me. This one is needed for me. In real life, walking around. The Irish, very sarcastic. And Americans don't understand Irish humor that they... They're a little too literal, okay? Everything goes over their head. Yeah, Americans are a little bit like Drax, you know? Everything goes over their head, especially when you're Irish. I don't really have a good example. Oh, I do have a good example. I say your man. In Ireland, here's a good one. In Ireland, we say your man a lot. So like, it, which has no possession. In America, your obviously means it, it, possession of, like your duck, your car, your this. But in Ireland, we always refer to, like, if we see someone down the road, you see, you see your man there. I always say that. And I had, like, uh, a contractor in the house, and I referred to uh, a guy that did some work in the house that didn't do a great job. And I said, do you remember your man that came and did the wall, and he didn't do a great job? And the contractor got so, like, defensive, like, no, he's not my man. He's not my. I have nothing to do with what he did. And I was like, 
Uh, uh, no. No, it's not. And he got really defensive. Thought I was, like, saying it was his fault. Things like that I have to be careful in America. I understood why. But that's something Irish people say. And it doesn't translate well to Americans. Yeah. So, being Irish is kind of difficult in America. Because there's a lot. Like, that book that you saw earlier. Now, this can all go in the extra stuff. Because this is just pure rambling. That colouring in book with all the swear words. There's so much stuff that the Irish say to each other. And it just makes sense. And there's no real logic behind it. We're like trying to explain what a what a gee bag is. I don't really know what a gee bag is, but I know you're being one right now. That's you know what I mean. It just it is what it is. I've had to learn how to speak normal instead of Irish, and I love speaking Irish. It's great. It doesn't make sense, and it's fun. All right, this next one is actually not sent by you guys. This was a, a box that arrived today from Saint Jude Children's Cancer Research Hospital, which. Lene and I do a lot of fundraising for, and uh, they send us some, like, thank you stuff every year. And so whenever we do live streams, and you guys come in and help raise money for St. Jude, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. We try to do as much as we can for charity. I do Movember. I do the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Ireland, which I'm an ambassador of and very proud of. And we do stuff for St. Jude, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal research hospital uh, here in America that does so much for families with children with cancer. So thank you, whoever shows up and donates to our St. Jude stuff. But look at this. They sent me a nice new hoodie. Hopefully this fits. Again, I really have a problem with clothes lately. I'm in between a medium and a large. So sometimes it fits. Sometimes it doesn't fit. If you're, if you understand that, if you're also in between like two sizes, it's horrible. You never know if something's going to fit you unless you try it on. Uh, this t-shirt. What's this t-shirt say? It's a St. Jude one. This is nice. Nice and clean. Oh, the back is nice. Oh, crap. Camera. You know, just nice little logo there. And then on the back. Play for more than bragging rights. And that's their like slogan. That's cool. Nice little... Oh, fever fighter. Like street fighter. That's cool. Thank you for that. Got some pins. I put these on my traveling bags. My backpack. I have a bunch of pins. Collect them on there. Uh, St. Jude Play Live. We raised 2.7 million. All collectively. Not just me. Okay. I wish. Uh, well, oh, we should be in here. We should be in here. There's a list of everyone that raised money. Did we raise money? Oh, there I am. Terrorizer. Okay. It's in the very bottom left. You can see it there. On the very bottom left. Oh, what is this? Oh, that is a huge fanny pack. Whoa, that's an American fanny pack. Holy Jesus, you can fit a family of like three in this thing. That's massive. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's like a fanny pack for the big show. That's insanity. That's like almost an entire backpack. Okay, well, in America, they do things bigger. They're, they're fanny packs and they're people. And then also this big, speaking of big, god damn. This entire mouse mat. That is ridiculously big. <laughs> Thank you, Say Jude. It's been a pleasure, all right? You're welcome. <laughs> now the last item. Oh, cheat. <sighs> the biggest to last. Ciao, Brian. I'm glad you liked my. Oh, this is your man in in, in your man in feckin' Rome. You sent me the art, and it's down there. I'm looking at it. I can see your art down my corridor. I, uh, it was uh, Josh. I'm glad you liked my art, and I'm glad Lene likes the pens because that was my guess on my part. This time, I'll keep it simple. There are two drawings in the box. It comes with a free towel, one for you, and the others for Lene. Up to you to give her which one as well as a leather-bound journal that also is for Lene. There's a metal sign in the box uh, saying is written in Italian. It says family is everything. In your last P.O. Box video, you got a letter from Haley uh, talking about her mother passing. And you talk about your father. It got me thinking about my past. When I was 17, I lost my mother. And 20, I lost my father. But I have two older brothers that helped me throughout my life. I, I'm i also remind... Wait, wait. I'm also reminded... I'm also remind day from one of my professor i think it's i'm also reminded of a saying from one of my professors uh goditi la vita guarda avanti per vedere dove ti porto porta la strada i if you're italian and i said that very like good pronunciation then you know fair fair fact and play it to me enjoy life look forward ahead to see where the road takes you 
lovely. So I'm enjoying my life. This October will be a year of me living in the time you open this box. I would be back home in New York visiting family. P.S. The time you get this, I would have went to New York to see family and went back to Italy. The shirt is an XL. There's an item in the box that can help you when Lene is mad at you, which is all the time. And she grabs the katana. Okay, we'll keep the katana away from Lene. We'll keep... Well, yeah, let's... It's not... I haven't told her about that, okay? Because for my own safety. She is Indonesian, and they have machetes. She is well capable of doing some damage. Ah, this is for me. Ah, yes. It, it, look at that. I love my old school Italia, like... Italia 90? Was it 90? Yeah, 94 was USA. USA. Italia 90. Where Italy knocked the Irish out. But that's nice. Old school Italy football top. Big fan of that. Anyone got a Jean... Uh, Jean... Jean... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Roberto Baggio. What am I saying? Jean-Luc at the uh, Buffon. Jean-Luigi Buffon. Uh, Roberto Baggio. If anyone by chance has a Baggio uh, t-shirt. One of my favorite players. Just saying, if you have a jersey. I have a P.O. box. I'll wear the shit out of it. In a large, I'm working on my diet and I'm trying to lose weight, so maybe medium. Give me a minute to lose some weight. That's nice. Thank you very much. Put in a little clip of Roberto Baggio. Legend. Baggio. Baggio. Si gira. Baggio. 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 Gol. Gol di Roberto Baggio. Buona giocata di Roberto Baggio. E al decimo del secondo tempo, Roberto Baggio porta in vantaggio l'Italia. Nice little... Uh... La familia e tutto. tutto. That is it. It's everything. The family is everything. That goes up on the wall. That's a lovely one. Very nice. Two items inside this box. Ah, oh, what's this? A Yu-Gi-Oh card. Obelisk the Tormentor. Look, at, oh, there's a few. There's a few cards in there. There's a few cards. Thank you very much. Added to my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Obelisk the Tormentor. Slifer the Sky Dragon. The Winged Dragon of Ra. And that's it. Up the Winged Dragon of Ra. Up the Winged Dragon of Ra. Up the Irish. Oh, look at this. A nice little clock. Ooh, this is nice. Look at that. That is lovely. Let's open it. It looks like it has something on the inside. My mom used to have a, uh, like a piece of... She had like this necklace that has like a curl of her mom's hair in there. Very sweet. Very sweet, but I don't want anyone else's relative's hair. Oh, you press the button at the top. I'm an idiot. And there you go. That's lovely. It's a nice little clock. Thank you for that. Oh, it works. It actually works. It's a working clock. Thank you very much. Beautiful little... I'll keep that. I have one of those outfits where it just hangs down from, you know, like that. You know, just that. Being all cool with my time timepiece there. Checking the clock. Yeah. Thinking I'm all fancy and cool. That's very nice. I like that a lot. Oh, what in the shit, bro? I, you think I'm giving this to Lene? Are you mental? You think I'm letting Lene get her hands on this? No chance, bro. No, bro. I don't even know if I could put this on the internet. Okay. Oh my God. How did you get this scent? Okay, I'm going to show you this and use your imagination what you think this may be. I will show this for the Patreon. Well, I'm worried that this could get me in trouble. And also, I'm afraid of Lene getting her hands on this. Oh my god. Thank you very much. You're going to get me killed. This lovely book. That's nice. Is it a journal? Oh god. Oh, what the f It's like old school paper. What the shit? Look at this. It's like really old school paper. What the fuck do I do with this? That, I, it's really cool. Uh, very, very... I love the paper. That's, like, really old school. And then... Oh, another one of your drawings. It's like a fallen angel. It's like, is it Gabriel? I don't know who this is supposed to be. But that is a lovely drawing. You're so good, man. You're so good. That's done with, like... It's like a, a black fountain pen. And then this one. Oh, it's like... It's like, a. Uh, is it Gwen? Is it Gwen? Gwen Stacy? Venom? Turn over... If, you know, taking over female? That's good. Very good art. Like, yeah, you're you're definitely doing the right. That's beautiful. And then also the venom. That is sick. Hi, Brian. How are you? 
Hope Luna and the dogs are doing well. I've been watching the crew for 10 years now. And I'd personally like to thank you and the gang for giving me so many fun video sessions to watch and cherish. I'm writing slash typing uh, to you today to ask for some help slash advice. I wanted to be a YouTuber for a long time now, but due to various reasons, mainly depression, have yet to achieve it as a full-time career. I'm better these days, but now have different problems, namely motivation. See, while I want to make videos, I struggle actually sitting down and doing it. I also have problems settling on a niche. Gaming is the main thing on my channel, but I'm so aloof when it comes to playing games these days. I don't play consistently, and it's a different game every week. My non-gaming videos don't perform nearly as well, usually. So those seem to be out. Something I'd like to do potentially for work for another YouTuber. Something I'd like to do potentially is work for another YouTuber. Oh, okay. Something I'd like to do potentially is work for another YouTuber. I currently work as a pizza delivery driver and it sucks. Money is tight and it bores the shit out of me. I'd like to develop my skills under another YouTuber potentially. I don't know where to look slash find for this kind of work though. Do you know where I can look? Perhaps you know someone who needs an editor. I'm sorry if it's rude to ask these things. I just don't know where else to turn. By the way, I typed this out because you would probably throw up looking at my handwriting. So I hope you appreciate it. Look forward to seeing more videos from the crew. Keep playing Gmod, always solid. Also, I promise to send you something cooler next time. Sincerely, Caden. YouTube.com slash at CLB underscore industries. There you go, a little shout out for you. Um, Yeah, motivation is a hard thing. Uh, when I was doing like doing my own editing and earlier days of trying to break through YouTube wise, also I had Vanos Gaming, which, which helps a lot. But before that, I still made like what, 30,000 subs before I met Evan. And it's just a matter of doing it and it's easier said than done you know not everyone is like me you can't make the same comparison between myself and yourself and other people you could have ADD you could have ADHD or something that makes you it's hard for you to sit down and get it done uh, that's completely possible um, but it's something I think you'd need to figure out yourself what's a good way to keep you focused on it I don't know if there's um, maybe people in the comment section here can give good ideas about of people that have an attention deficit disorder or some kind that things that help them stay focused and motivated um me myself i didn't really have that issue um if i if i had a, a task i want to get it done and i want to do it correctly um so maybe that's like ocd i guess so maybe i have a different version that actually benefited myself um i think there's a website that i saw where you can actually it's like uh, for youtubers to find editors yeah, here it is. So it's a website called YT Jobs. So YouTube Jobs. So YT J O B S. And you can go in there and put your like your portfolio. It's kind of like LinkedIn for YouTubers. So if you went on there, you, you're looking for editors or thumbnail artists or blah, blah, blah. People can go on there and make a profile, showcase the stuff that they've done. And it's a good way to probably get it. You know, if someone is actively going on there looking for editors, that's a good place to do it. And then if if you follow a bunch of YouTubers and they're looking for work, then tweet them, showcase your stuff, have a good portfolio, have a video ready showing all your good edits and everything. So that could be worthwhile sitting down and actually putting together like a reel of all your good edits, showcasing what you can do, the animations you can do, or the effects you can do, or subtitling and timing and all that kind of stuff. Could be worth it. Making a nice little video to showcase what you can do and then send it to content creators and they might be able to hire you as a YouTuber, or as, a, as an editor. So that's probably what I would recommend for that. But trying to stay focused it is difficult but you just have to figure out a way to keep yourself you know motivated at the job at hand and it's unfortunately easier said than done but if you want it bad enough you'll do it and i wish you all the best and just rome wasn't built in a day i worked tirelessly for a year and a bit before i got my big break and uh i had to keep going you know, a lot of people on the internet will probably say, no, Brian was lucky. He was friends with the guys and uh, he, he just basically rode on their pig, their pigtails. Is that what they say? They're... Basically, I was carried through my career, which some people might have a point, maybe. But how did I get those 30,000 subs before I, I met any of them? A lot of hard work, a lot of work, determination. And yeah, it's it's easier said than done. It's up to you whether you want it bad enough. And if you do, you're going to work for it. And so if you want it, it's there. You just got to go out and do it. Watch other people's videos. Learn from them. Try and mimic their editing. Uh, do research on, you know, good effects. 
I don't edit much these days because I focus my time on streaming and recording the videos and then I hire editors. So a good place to showcase your stuff is on YouTube jobs and tweeting at content creators. That's probably the best advice I can give. It's probably not incredible. Probably not what you want to hear. But it's it's very difficult because there's so many content creators on YouTube now. As opposed to when I did it, I was definitely in a smaller pond. Now there's so many fish in the pond. It is insane. So if you want it, there's so many others out there that want it just as much as you. But you're going to have to keep grinding to get the exposure and get your opportunity. So wish you all the best. Just get it done. Okay? And keep grinding at the at, at the pizza job. I had to do I had to work in a nightclub. I had to work in Subway, I had to work in like a deli making sandwiches. That makes when you do succeed all the much sweeter. You don't want it handed to you. You don't want someone to bring you success because then you won't appreciate it. That's when you turn into an asshole YouTuber. When everything was just rainbows and it just worked out perfectly. You be you don't you don't become grateful. And when you have the hard jobs and the really shitty jobs, and then you do make it, it makes it so much sweeter. And I Definitely am glad I did it the way that I did it because I realize how incredibly fortunate I am to be doing this and not making butt-long sandwiches anymore. Yeah. So that's it. I wish you all the best. Get it done. Get to work. And you will succeed. And we're done. We are done. And I got a free towel. Amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate everyone that sent me stuff. If you want to send stuff to the PO box, it is down below in the description. Uh, send us whatever if you have a company if you have a product that you make and I can just basically show your card and if people want to get it they can and uh, Yeah, whatever you want Be be crude be rude I'm gonna go guys and I'm gonna take this pixelated box and do some research. Thanks for watching See you next time leave a like subscribe and keep sending me weird stuff. You guys are great Slon that's Irish for goodbye Oh, you're still here. I wasn't doing anything. Uh, thanks for watching. Did I just hit start streaming?